How to model thorn armor in Blender. Sketch the front and back armor outlines, then export them as images. Import your character. Add the front image as a reference, position it in front, and lower the opacity. Add a plane, rotate, scale, and position it in front of the character. Apply the scale. Add a mirror modifier and set your character as the mirror object. Add a shrink wrap modifier and set your character as the target. Add solidify and subdivision surface modifiers. Set snap base to face. Switch to edit mode. Snap the plane's vertices to the body, then extrude and model following the sketch outline. Once the front is done, change the image reference to the back, adjust the position and scale if needed, then continue modeling. When finished modeling, apply all modifiers. Add a multi-res modifier and subdivide by 2. Enter sculpt mode and start drawing creases on the surface with the draw sharp tool. To achieve this look, draw creases like wood grain, following the armor's shape. Add twists and breaks to make the lines more dynamic. The lines should visually follow the shape of the armor yet have their own movement within it. Smooth out areas and use the draw or draw sharp tool to deepen creases and dents. Once the base shape is done, use the elastic grab tool to create thorns by dragging out the free edges. Do the same for creases that end by the edges of the armor. For material, add geometry pointiness with a color ramp to separate creases. Use it as the FAC input for a mix shader, blending metallic and ceramic materials. Mix an ambient occlusion with the color ramp to soften the edge transitions.